Brothers and sisters, our offering today is for Indigenous Ministries Canada and the, the, or in in Canada, and, and this is uh, the part of our denomination or one of the parts in our denomination that works with Indigenous folks, with First Nations folks uh, throughout this country to uh, provide. Uh, partnership and help and grow relationships and seek reconciliation and it is a fantastic ministry it has been doing wonderful work for many many years in fact uh, the Christian Reformed Church in Canada was a significant part uh, back in the day with the uh, Truth and Reconciliation Commission and uh, the work that they did and uh, we talked last week about grieving together with the people of, uh, of, of Kamloops and, and our indigenous people, recognizing the, the damage done uh, and the lives lost through residential schools. And I was reminded this week that though it is true that there is a lot to be made right, it is also true that there is great hope. Uh, someone from our church sent me a link, and I will share it via the uh, via the announcement for this uh, service uh, in the email. There, uh, it's a conversation with Chief Kenny Blacksmith regarding uh, the return National Indigenous Peoples Day, and, and this is uh, the return of National Indigenous Peoples Day, and it is uh, a powerful a powerful talk. Uh, Chief Kenny Blacksmith talks uh, quite a bit about forgiveness, and uh, it is it is very encouraging. And so I would encourage you uh, to check that out. It is a long video, but that's okay. It is uh, it is good, uh, and it is encouraging, even if you only watch uh, some of it. Uh, but in the meantime, one of the ways that we can uh, help the relationship we have with Indigenous peoples is through giving to uh, the Indigenous Ministries of Canada. And I would check, I encourage you to check that out also on the CRC's uh, webpage. Uh, you can find Indigenous Ministries there and find out more about the work that they do as well. Also, just a, a couple of updates. I uh, wanted you to uh, know about how Sue is doing. Talked with her uh, this week, and she is uh, she's improving. She has finished her chemo treatments, uh, at least for now. She has uh, had an MRI and is going to have a CAT scan, I believe, on Monday. Uh, and so hopefully she will find out good news from those things in the days and weeks to come. But in the meantime, uh, her mobility is improving a bit. When I talked to her, she had just had an opportunity to go out and do some errands and she was pretty tired, but she had done it and that was wonderful and good. So please keep her and Jake and uh, the rest of the family in your prayers for sure, uh, but also praise God for the progress there as well. Please also be in prayer for all of those in our congregation who are struggling in whatever way. Uh, you can uh, please uh, pray for me. Um, I have been uh, struggling uh, a bit with my own uh, mental health. I'm, I'm okay. Um, I'm getting the help that I need uh, through through our CAP program, our Congregational Assistance Program, uh, but I, I feel sometimes like I have been fighting a battle against negative thoughts and uh, against the lies that Satan would have me believe for uh, many, many years. And uh, so, I'm feeling a little bit tired in that. So it is good that I'm having some holidays, um, but it's also good that the CAT program is there. And if you are in need of uh, counseling, uh, if you would just like a checkup, a mental health checkup, uh, or if you would like to talk about something specific, we are part of the CAT program. And if you need details of that, that will provide uh, up to six sessions totally free for you uh, with a qualified uh, counselor who is also a Christ follower. And uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful service. And so I would encourage you to check that out. Now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. 
Father in heaven, thank you so very much for, uh, for this day. Thank you so very much for the reality of all that you have provided. Lord, we know that it is Father's Day this weekend, and we know that a few weeks ago we, we celebrated Mother's Day. We are so grateful, O oh God, for first of all, our Heavenly Father. Lord, we know that you are uh, both father and mother to us in a very real sense. That picture, that image is there in scriptures, both of those, and we are so grateful for that. We are grateful also for our parents in this world. And though we know that none of our parents in this world are, are, are perfect or were perfect, and uh, we know that sometimes parents sadly do terrible, terrible things, uh, we also know that overall, parents and children are a beautiful and wonderful gift from you. Lord, we know, we know that there are not just physical, biological parents as well, but we have spiritual parents. Lord, of course, there is you and all that you teach us, but there are also those in our church who are mentors, those who have helped to grow us in the Lord, and we are so grateful for them as well. And God, we know, we know too, that those who are single, those who could never have children, those who are, uh, those who have adopted, they are no less parents in the sense that they are part of your family. They are part of our family. They are our mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters. And so, Lord, we praise you for that as well. Oh, God, as we come up to Father's Day, we know that also it is coming up on National Aboriginal Day. And we pray that you would bless that day, that we would continue to work towards reconciliation as a, as a nation to the First Nations. Lord God, we thank you so much for national or for the indigenous ministries of Canada from the CRC. We pray that you would bless them and we pray that you would bless our tithes and offerings, that they may be uh, God glorifying and that they would truly uh, serve to bring uh, reconciliation just as you, O oh God, the Bible tells us, gave us a ministry of reconciliation of all things in this world. Lord, we pray. We pray that you would be with Sue. We thank you for the progress that has been made. We pray that you will bless her and that you will carry on with her and with Jake and all of the family. Lord, we pray too that you will be with all of those in our congregation who are struggling, O oh God. Would you please guide each and every one Lord, would you be with those who are struggling with mental or emotional health? Lord, would you comfort them and strengthen them? And for each of us in the battles that we fight against temptation, against lies, against uh, ungodliness, uh, against all of those things, oh God, help us to not grow weary. Strengthen, oh Lord, the trembling hand. And as you promised, O oh Lord, do not break the bruised reed and do not snuff out the sputtering candle. Lord, we pray all of these things, asking you as well to illuminate our hearts and minds as we come to your scriptures in the message. Would you show us what you would have us hear? We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.